overworked and underpaid. It's a complaint that you have probably heard from friends or coworkers at some point. Yeah, but the Obama administration hopes to change that with new rules requiring businesses to pay more overtime. Investigator Lewis Bolden has the report. Carlos Barrias often works more than 40 hours a week managing a McDonald's restaurant. I think like about 50, 55, something. But he doesn't get paid extra, earning a flat salary instead. Under a new rule issued by the Obama administration, Barrias is one of millions of workers that could soon be eligible for overtime pay. I think this will be a huge impact for Central Floridians. Employment attorney Carlos Leach says with Central Florida's hospitality roots, it could be a game changer for many. But one of the reasons for that is the minimum salary threshold has not been increased in over a decade. Currently, salaried workers making less than $23,660 are eligible for overtime pay. But the new policy raises that threshold to $47,476, a change expected to affect 4.2 million people. Berea says getting paid for overtime would change his life. The keys always ask for it. I want these, I want that, and with the extra money, I'm going to buy them whatever they want. According to the White House, in 1975, 62% of salaried workers had overtime rights. That has fallen to only 7% today. In restaurants, retail stores, and small businesses, employees designated as managers often work up to 80 hours a week but do not qualify for overtime. However, critics of the plan warn it could backfire. In the real world, most employees probably won't see overtime. Instead, their jobs are going to be changed and they'll be reclassified. They'll effectively be demoted from a salaried position where they're exempt to an hourly position where they're non-exempt. In an effort to appease businesses, bonuses will be considered salary income. The Department of Labor says it will now reassess every three years to make sure it keeps pace with inflation. The change takes effect December 1st. I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6.